My wife was from the South. I was born way up north in Shreveport, Louisiana. <laughs> we married in college. If your marriage can survive college, it probably will survive anything. We came to Rockford to pastor, believe it or not. I still pastor. I'm a pastor of a small community church called the Flora Community Church. It's not brand new. It was established in 1859, and uh, they're in the same building that they moved into when they first opened, uh, right across from the Flora Cemetery. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have crowds of 40, and it may, it's not the biggest church I've ever pastored, but it may be the best, because the people have a rule. And they ruled because they were a denomination, uh, they were a, a church start of five denominations. Their rule, their rule is you can't join this church unless you like the other people. <laughs> we came here to pastor a different church. And uh, I brought with me uh, my three sons. Uh, one is a graduate of the University of Chicago. He's out in Oakland, California. The other is in banking in Seattle. And my oldest son fell 11 stories off a building in Panama City, Florida. We were building a church building expandable to 1,500 seats. And the boy fell off the dunes of Panama on a Friday the 13th in 1987. He, uh, he lived, he lived uh, with a, a leg that was broken in several places. His, uh, his, his, his legs were even pushed into his feet uh, with the way he, he hit. Uh, that he lived, uh, a doctor said, was a, a miracle. Uh, but he lived with a head injury. If you've never been around a person with a head injury, it's the kind of it's the kind of injury injury where you never know what to expect next. God must have a sense of humor uh, to take a Baptist preacher and cause him to have a son who just likes to act out. Uh, he uh, acted out even after he came to Rockford, Illinois. Uh, the first acting out was when he drove in from Zion, Illinois, and uh, in a little Chevette, hit not one, not two, but three deer. And uh, when he hit those three deer on, on Interstate 173, the, or rather on Highway 173, the deer won. It was pretty easy with a, with a Chevette. <laughs> Cliff lost. He, uh, he died in 2007. He, uh, he died of injuries, but worse than that, he, he, he died of a drug addiction, a harsh drug addiction, a drug addiction that uh, eventually caused his heart attack. He was the first patient to die in the newly remodeled Swedish American hospital. And uh, his, his death, his death, following my wife's death, uh, set, me, set me free to, uh, to be the pastor at this local community church. And it gave gave me a, a feeling of not just saying goodbye to family members, but a feeling of saying goodbye in, in, in a, the kind of way that made me say hello to this place called, uh, called Rockford. I know Rockford's got some serious problems. Uh, I, I bought a house here. <laughs> Want to buy a house? No. <laughs> You, you can't sell a house right now in Rockford, but the day is coming where those goodbyes 
are going to become good luck. Those goodbyes are going to be a good way to live in this good place. And this, this may be just, just the beginning, just the start of people telling different kinds of stories about this place called Rockford. A story not of goodbye, uh, but a story of all the wonderful things that could happen in this town, in Rockford, Illinois. I, uh, I pastor a little church that uh, has a history from 1859. Who runs it? A little old lady who's about 88 years old. She's the honorary mayor of Irene, Illinois. And she runs our church with an iron fist. And I just love it. Because she's got the heart to believe that not just in the things that we preach in the church, but she believes in the things of family and the things that are coming for this whole area for Rockford. Thank you for being here.